Hi there, this is Alex from Thingsboard. It's good to know that you are using our platform and remain products since the number of subscribers as well as perpetual license users is drastically growing. But as you may guess, this causes a good portion of requests to our support team regarding the license issues. Almost all license troubleshooting is available through our license portal, the user-friendly environment for the license management, and basically one-click approaching of Thingsboard Professional Edition with respect to your use case and your company size. So, what are the top 3 misuse of licenses which causes something like this? Usually you may face the license error when The running server is rebooted without proper stopping of Thingsboard process when Thingsboard platform is moved or installed in closed network or when proxy server with strict policies and configuration is used or when you are trying to use single license key within two or more instances. Let's look at each of them in details. And most importantly, we'll figure out how to correct this error and not allow it in the future. Your instance is rebooted. If your instance, IZ, physical server, virtual machine or docker container occasionally rebooted while launched Thingsbot service, let's say because of sudden power outage or Kubernetes pod restored by any reason, Thingsbot service will not start and you will get an error invalid license check secret or similar. In order to fix this, you need First, stop your Thingsbot service. From the command prompt, perform this command, or you may delete the required file from conf folder if using Windows. Then go to your account on the license portal, go to particular license key and delete instance. Deactivating the instance is more suitable for floating mode configuration, while you intend to use two or more instances sequentially. But with the restart occasion, this is impossible because you'll never ever reach the deactivated instance. And then start your Thingsboard service. Done! Closed network and proxy issue. Your instance of Thingsboard Professional Edition requires an active internet connection to perform license verification requests. So, in case of an outage after successful activation, Thingsboard Professional Edition client will shut down the instance until the connection is repaired. For security or any other reasons, you may not have connection to the world and your server will be available only on the local net. For example, you have a facility somewhere in the field, but you still need to perform some logic, aggregate data and see dashboards on the edge. With Thingsboard Professional Edition, it's most likely impossible. But we prepare the release of a brand new product, Thingsboard Edge, to cover this and similar use cases and provide pure edge computing. Stay in touch with us to get up-to-date news from us. A corporate network can be limited or tracked by a proxy server with different security policies. By default, proxy may not pass the license check request, especially in case of using encrypted connection. In order to fix this, you must configure using proxy. This feature is available since version 2.4.2. Please do the following. As a result, you should see a warning message going to use proxy server in the logs. Violation of the license When the one tries to use the single license key within two instances, they get a failure message. License server prohibits such attempts with following output. Most often this happens when you need to migrate to the new server or run the new container. If you plan to use things board on the old server in the future, you need to deactivate the old instance from the license portal instead of deleting the instance ID. Once you configure the key for the new environment, the license server will receive a new approved instance ID. 
Thereafter, your single key may be used in a floating mode whenever it activates only one Thingsboard service at the current moment. If you need to use the same key for two or more instances simultaneously, let's say for cluster setup, you may update the instance count which transforms your single key to the multiple key. You are free to buy additional instances, so now you know how to prevent active instance capacity exit error. Keep in touch, subscribe to this channel, ask questions, write comments and suggestions, and share this video and may the things board with you.